Messiah is shaking with a number of fans bringing in the drums, making sure that their voices are heard live as they battle it out. Game number two, homeboys on the blue side up against SRG on the red. I love how many people they put around the purple buff instantly because they know <laughs> you on the Grok is definitely gonna try some funny business. He will successfully chase him away, and then will just slightly slow down TB as compared to Skies. They have both started on the same side of the map as well. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Force Udil to use as many chargers as possible, but force him to use mana. The more he uses his resources, the more likely Udil is going to retreat and go for an early recall. Look at the emblems and talents. Ooh, common emblem on Grok this time. Looks like Yums wants to be aggressive. The guys, I think he just spotted Chibi as well. Does have that XP advantage simply from a, that invade onto that camp. So guys, it's gonna hit four first. What that's what we expected from a Nolan. Top side, Cram is gonna take some pressure. Ron shows up. The Star Shadow doesn't connect though. That means Cram is gonna lose HP, but he's just gonna strike back. Lo Yi from Udio. It will put on some pressure, but the flicker being forced out. All right, good response from the homeboys here, rotating multiple to try and stop Cram because they know they need to unlock Zapat from lane and then immediately choosing to disengage when they realize that they don't have the resources against the numbers of the Giants. Yeah, Cram's got a good freeze here and GB's gonna bail Zapat out. Good help coming in from a brother in a different role. 15 seconds left and it looks like it's an early recall coming in from Udil. He doesn't need level 4. He does not care about his level 4 as of right now. He just needs to make an impact. If he happens to get level 4, sure, but he's probably not going to need it for the upcoming turtle. Yeah, the guy's looking for his 5 and he will get it the moment he reaches the turtle. See Yoon's claiming that mid wave will have that wild charge in just a little bit, but Chibi is not going to wait and Yoon's will reset that turtle. Ooh, nice reset there, allowing Skies to make it in time and even get that extra EXP to hit level 4. Stormy is zoning out the top lane by himself. It's going to be very crucial. Sapa jumps in and the guys wins the Retrify with the level advantage. Sapa lands the land shaker, the Raging Slash comes right out, grab the victim, oh! but the Raging oh! Yoon with the save and SRG off with two. What a flicker wild charge. Instantly Zorn and Subbot lights out. And that's EXP compromised for the side of the homeboys. SRG have opened a wound up on the top side of the map. Man, Cram just dangled his body of a smith at, like a bait in front of the homeboys and they fit on it. Beautiful play. Red Giants having the lead now is exactly what they want. Especially those two assists on Skies is going to help this Nolan heavily. Uh, it feels like Oh, the onward didn't connect against the Yums. But at the very least, I think that the homeboys, one of their weakest points is when they start getting desperate for a trade. That's when they, you start to see them do sporadic movements. Oh my god. Oh, wow, charge. This one to Chibi. Cram, he's out already. Chibi needs to get out. What a penalty zone for Cram! All of them caught on the edge. This guy is a geometric genius! SRG finds another two. You know, I gotta use that term, geometric genius. That's very nice. Catching all of them, and then Sky is jumping for the back line specifically because he knows his team can handle TB from that point on. I mean, SRG, what's great about them is their micro, right? Looking at that micro, it looked like everybody was gonna back away at the same time to leave Yums by himself. And homeboys, they kind of sniffed up on that. They're like, oh, maybe we can actually do this. It feels like they're not gonna send in reinforcements. And then Yums wild charges once again to turn it around. Common emblem. That that is a minor difference maker. Now SRG, Becky say that they're good at snowballing. They got a snowball rolling. Um, and this is now going to be scary. We already mentioned how Barat's going to have difficulty if he falls behind. TB going to be feeling a little bit of that pain that Skies had to feel in game number one. But they do still have a lot of damage potential, right? Literally everyone else on the team is able to output DPS. So the Red Giants still cannot let their guard down here. The net worth lead not totally in their favor yet. And Sapat, he's already four so far away. And so Echo <laughs> Ping onto two against the guys, gets the turtle, no issue. They get the call out onto Cram, spit him out, go for the burst. Cram will flicker the safety zone for the change, but Yooms re aggros it, and now it's gonna be Zorn to get sacrificed. Talang Red Giants coming back strong. Oh, it's, you know, it's not often during the draft that we see a Rome hero being picked so early. 
but Humes on this rock is such a Swiss army knife that it just no. works. Wow. Wait, guys, guys, you messed up. He wanted he wanted to put all that damage on Udil. Accidentally auto locks out the GB. Udil on the run, unfortunately, and I don't and I think Stormy, he's getting a little bit of revenge from game number one. Recall nah 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 brother. You were walking back. It's still a flicker, right? Still something of value taken out from Udil. Uh, and the more things of value that the Red Giants are able to take away from the homeboys, the better they're going to feel. These cooldowns are very important right now for the blue side of the map because they're already in a difficult spot, a 4K net worth lead now. Red Giants, we saw how they were able to farm to make up the difference in game number one. When they have the lead, though, it's a totally different ball game. Yeah, I mean, with this lead, and especially since Yumes has a full, is a full level ahead of Zorn, you can see how much Zorn is like trying to punish Yum specifically. He needs to get this Grok out of the way before he can start opening up the map efficiently. If not, they're both going to be side by side, rubbing uh, rubbing cheeks against each other. And it's annoying for Zorn because even if he wants to crowd control Yum, Yum is just power of nature. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Crowd control me? No, 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 not an option. He just holds his pillar slightly different and you can't <laughs> throw him over your shoulder, right? And that's got to feel rough because Zorn was in so much control in game one. But, oh, Cram. Push back. Step by. He's going to be forced away by Stuck Guy's Zorn now. Cram would just bear the brunt of the damage, even go for the penalty zone to force Zorn out. The guys. The poke on the Woody, that's half his health bar. Third turtle coming up. No penalty zone for the Tarizla. Yeah, and it looks like Cram, he's not going to go back into lane. They're going to rush this down, uh, rush this turtle down in the meantime. And I think this should mean that Subban will be able to take that top tier one as a trade. I think it's not too bad a trade for the homeboys. Structural damage is going to be a lot more permanent than the uh, slight gold and EXP buff that Red Giants will get from this. So, oh, oh, so guy. Oh, oh my he goodness. He still gets the kill. He wants to get away. Oh. Oh, missing the Earth Shadow. And that means the guy gets out. The Lion Red Giants to block from you. You ain't going nowhere, boys. Budil, you're next. Grab another catch on the edge. Killing three for Stormy. Matt's just going to dance his way away. Oh, my oh, Oh my god! What a play coming out from the SRG! What a clap back! Putting homeboys back in their place! Telling them, hey, you can't beat us just yet! That was just a fluke! You you don't see that from any team but the Salango Red Giants, man! Firstly, Skies, how do you dodge Earth Shatter like that? I have literally never seen that before. But even on the tiniest sliver on HP, they know they can keep the ball rolling. They know they can push homeboys to the very edge. Oh, man, game one was homeboys saying, yes, SRG, we outplayed you. SRG responds, try that one more time. Yeah, SRG is like, we got close in game one, but game two, maybe not. Oh, not even a chance. Oh, such a good read. They even knew that they TP'd it to Oh, time. they went for net. BMI out for net, but Kram is like, okay, you abandon your teammate. We're just going to take them down. Try as we hard as we can. Udio, he's going to pop. Snap of the finger. That's him down to Kram. SRG is still getting something in return. Oh, they're getting everything. They're getting everything. SRG taking out the outer turrets like it's nothing. The first Lord should fall into their hands without much contest. The GB is three levels behind, and this is the SRG we're used to seeing. 72% AI winning prediction eight minutes into the game. I have a quick question. Do you uh -huh. think banning out the Fred been shot homeboys in the foot? Uh... You know, maybe a little bit. Like... I get what they were going for, targeting the jungle picks, because honestly, the pool of meta jungler is not that big recently, but the Nolan, right, could... I don't know if it slipped their mind or if they really tried to force guys into it, because it's not working, if that's the case. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think they had a rough idea. I just think they underestimated Yooms on this Grok, right? How little effect Zorn has because Yooms exists playing this character. And Zorn, he's like, he, as much as he's TPing it around, he can't seem to shake him off. He sticks on to you, man. Rock solid. Immovable object. Oh, oh GB. They're not going to do it. Don't uh, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. it they're just going to try and build something out. Base something out. You can just see the way what Yooms wants. He's like, oh, I'm going to isolate Chibi. And if anybody from the side of the homeboys oversteps their boundaries, that's when I'm pulling the trigger. Uh, he just grounded Chibi, basically. He put him in a timeout corner. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's two for two. You want your Chibi boy, huh? <laughs> Always synced up. Except for the mid one. The mid one is, uh, has been eliminated. So the SRG, though. 
They're just gonna let the Lord slow down and push just for the mid wave to come in. GB taking some pokes. Here is the stage. Ooh. Cram only onto one, but that is nasty. But with a re engage, Cram will throw his body to ensure that SRG get the top inhibitor. Will they go for more here? I think that's about it. They're gonna disengage now that they no longer have the Terizla around, but that's more than good enough. 10 minutes. 10,000 net worth leads. Guys really trying to take that award from GB. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And if you can do it before that 12 minute mark, that would be the most ideal. But this checkmate angle for SRG. Homeboys, they're not gonna make the 42K mark in time. And uh, let's look at the items. Not even a golden staff coming in from Nets just yet. Their scaling has been significantly slowed down and Udil is not having a fun time. Only having the enchanted talisman complete. <laughs> having a rough time. That feels bad that here. Really bad. I, I gotta ask, do you think going for the Brute Force Breastplate and Guardian Helmet from TV here might be a little bit greedy considering circumstances? Uh, and Maybe that's all he's oh, getting. TV's so down him. again! All right, TV, detention time is bedtime. Go to sleep. Think about what you did last game. How does that even work? You're supposed to be able to dash over walls with the Tonas. Uh. He literally timed the perfect peak at the end of his dash. Yep, yep, I think GB, I'm waiting. Oh, 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 he wants to fight! Catches Ness with it, Yuzi is most likely gonna go down, Zorn with the Primal Wrath, fights the guys, he's gonna try and chase the guys down, but the guys ain't going to fall for that, and now Zorn gets sniped, Conceal ain't gonna help it, SRG, too good, and two inhibitors down. Two inhibitors down, and this is honestly a a feel-good play coming in from Yums, right? They have nothing to lose off of this. Even if homeboys take out Yums, they're not going to be able to get this gold lead back from the side of SRG because there's nothing to fight over in the map. Inside their own jungle, nothing is alive, and the rest of SRG will eventually start stealing these camps away, but they want the homeboys to walk out 10 seconds until the next Lord spawns. Yeah, it's such a nice timing as well, right? The Red Giants back off. Instantly, the Lord is already ready for them to start working on. And homeboys, they don't have lane priority, so they can't even risk walking out of the base to contest this. They're just going to have the turtle and hope that they can hold it back. I'm telling you, man, Novara is something else in this playoff. GDS purchase from GDS. Sakai's. Oh my god. He wants it bad. He's looking at he's looking at GB eye to eye being like, I am you, man. I am going to take that black today. Who do you think you are, huh? <laughs> I was one night on the barrage, but I don't need nine deaths on you to win the game. Oh boy. Sky's took uh, GB taking his spot on the Dream Team personally <laughs> here. He he's gonna, like, he's all gonna right. the boys. <laughs> he flexes his knuckles, you know, it's like, all right, we know what we gotta do here, boys. <laughs> oh boy. This is this is rough. This is rough for the side of the whole boys. A cruel reminder of who they're facing up against. Every one of these small mistakes really starts piling up against SRG. And it can go the other way around. But oh boys, at this point, let's see the GG push. is gonna pull the Lord away. The pain from Stormy, Zorn taking the brunt of the damage. Good juggle, but the Wild Charge is gonna take care of GB. Cram to the back, finding Udio Innocent. Flick the oh. He wants the killing blow. And SRG, they're just not letting Homeboys have any space. The Lord still alive despite all of Homeboys' effort. And an instant, he's just not gonna wait. Udio oh. gonna take him down. But SRG are a team, and the Giants equalize the series.